So let me take you back to my previous startup, which is called Unspam, started also with two other people. And those two other people, basically I picked as, as co-founders um, because we'd had lockers next to each other in primary school. We were uh, three white guys. We were all basically the same height. We all basically looked the same. We'd all grown up within a few blocks of each other. We were, we were great, great, great friends going in. And um, by the time we came out the other side, um, I just still don't talk to one of the uh, one of the three of them. Uh, the other one, I there was, I went years um, not speaking to. We fought like dogs. And what was interesting was, you know, when two of us stepped away from operating roles in the company, the company went on just fine uh, without without the two of us. Because fundamentally, the problem was the three of us were the same person. We were all somewhat kind of wonky, geeky nerds. And um, you didn't need all three of us. And the reason, what we might have made up different reasons to fight every day, but the fundamental reason we were fighting is that, yeah, you know, we had cast the die and I was CEO and somebody else was CTO and somebody else was effectively like COO. But you could have just rotated everyone and, and it would have been uh, the, the same, which was another way of saying that fundamentally what we were fighting over was who was in charge. So when I, when I started at Cloudflare, I said, Listen, I've, I've done this now long enough to know what my strengths and weaknesses are. And instead of picking someone who I'm friends with, let me pick somebody who is actually kind of the opposite uh, to me. And Michelle and I weren't friends. Um, you know, we were in the same business school cohort together. There were 90 people in the cohort. If, she, if we, she'd had a birthday party and she'd invited 40 people, I would not have made the list. If she'd invited 60, I think I would have. I'm somewhere in so I'm somewhere in the kind of 50 out of out of 90 in terms of in terms of friendship but I think we both had an enormous amount of of respect for each other because we were each very good at different things you know when we when we went public we had to go through like a succession planning exercise you know if if Matthew gets hit by a bus who steps in as a CEO and and the board decided and I think this is publicly filed that, you know, Michelle would step in on a temporary basis and then the board would do a search and figure out what the, what the long term. In my last company, if we went through that exercise, the, the other two co-founders would have been studying the bus schedule and suggesting times that I should run across the street, maybe, you know, looking the wrong way. Whereas at Cloudflare, um, Michelle texted me, don't you dare get hit by a bus. And I think that that's, you know, it's, it's really clear that each of us have our own strengths and each of us have our own lanes. If you think about it, the way Michelle would describe it is, you know, the problem space that you're trying to solve when you're starting, starting a company is so big and you want people to help with that. And ideally you want to cover as much of that problem space as possible. So it's like a Venn diagram where you want circles that have a tiny bit of overlap so that there's, there's some ability for the people involved to relate to one another. But ideally, each of those circles has a ton of space covering the problem area to do that. So, you know, early on, I was I was the first salesperson. I was sort of the marketer. I was the sort of head of product that did early customer support. Lee was the technical genius who was you know writing code and and just heads down and and that's what he wanted to do. And then Michelle was the person who made sure the rent got paid and and took whatever the first sale was and figured out how to turn it into a process that was you know, the second, third, fourth, sixth uh, sale, I could hire one person, she would figure out how to hire a hundred. And those are, those are very different skill sets. And I think because of, because we each had our own lane, I think that was a, a big tribute to the, the early success that we had and, and the stability.